Hey, if you haven't heard the segments with Virginia Webster on Take 10, you're missing it. You guys need to go back and listen to this. This wonderful lady, a minister family, her and Ken have pastored, had bivocational businesses. She was an assistant principal in the education world. She knew no fear because she had to go forward. But her work in ministry caused her to want to help and to want to be a part. And six years ago, she became a highly sought after financial services provider. And she just started taking people who had little bits and helping them expand it into the amounts that would be sustainable over a lifelong life. And those that had a lot, how to be secure in that. Virginia, thank you for thank spending you. your time with us. Thank you. But I, I want to get out of the way today. Okay. And on this tech, Take 10, I would just like for you to look into the camera and talk to the women. This used to be a, a, a man's game. Yes. When I was involved in it years ago, I, by, by vocational, I rose to where you are as a regional vice president. Okay. And congratulations. Thank you, thank you, thank but, you, thank but you. The but excite, the exciting thing is, is that I believe God has placed you there because of the compassion you have for uh, ministry teams, although we help everybody. Mm -hmm. But uh, primarily today in the ICCI, we're talking to ministry teams. And I'd like you to talk. And many of you that are receiving this email, your vice president is a woman because it's your wife. And if you are a wife president, your husband is the vice president. So she's talking to you, many of you today, to help you for the future. God bless you. Just share uh, the reason you got in this and the, and the work you can help these ladies with. Right. Thank you so much, Bishop. So um, again, having been in this industry for six years and before that, ministering to women in all capacities as, in a, as a, a co-pastor or yeah, first or, lady, or first lady <laughs> whatever it is that I was called, um, just saw the need um, to, to fit um, what I'm doing now into that particular area to minister to women who are in need and to those that don't even know that they're in need yet. But one of the things that I've discovered is that many times, you know, the husband being the lead is that we always, we know our place, we know to submit and we submit in all things, but submission does not mean to be ignorant. Um, so I would advise you not to be ignorant in regards to finances and in regards to your family's finances. And it's great that the husband is the head and that he leads, but it's important that you know and you are aware of your financial condition because many times, unfortunately, preaching is a, uh, and pastoring is a very taxing thing and the husband will pass away or you know, just go home to be with Jesus first and leave uh, a family behind. And you have to know that your family is going to be properly taken care of and going to be cared for. So one of the things, of course, that that I do um, is make sure that when we sit with, the, with families to assess their need and do a financial needs analysis, for husband and wife that we're also uh, giving the wives who um, might not have been otherwise aware the tools to be able to go forward and maybe even lead in that area because a lot of times again pastors are very busy and they have many many demands so if the wife is gifted in that area she might take the lead in making sure that the insurances are in place and what exactly is it you have and should your home, husband go home uh, to be with Jesus, that the family is going to be covered properly, not just a burial plan that takes care of uh, funeral expenses, but to make sure that you and your children will realize the goals and the dreams that your husband had for you guys before he left. And again, it's for families, not just wives, but it's, it's just dear to my heart. I've seen many situations where, you know, a marriage of many years has, uh, has, you know, fallen apart for whatever reason, whether it was death or divorce or, you know, just whatever it is and where a wife was devastated. I have personal friends that was devastated, you know, where she could not leave uh, an abusive situation. She could not leave because she didn't have a hundred dollars to pay mm. down an apartment. So again, I'm not encouraging anyone to be separated, but it is important important that you know your financial condition and that's where my heart is uh, I've always ministered to women want to continue to minister to women but you know there are so many areas in which we can be a blessing and thank God my husband and I we found our blessing 
um, our area is to be financially astute and use that to be able to build strong marriages because we know the finances is such an important part of the relationship and when that is lacking then definitely it's hard to bring a marriage together so if we can get on one accord and we can plan together financially and we can have a positive outlook on what the future is going to look like then of course that brings some joy to the relationship you know i, I routinely uh, speak to male ministers mm -hmm. about the role of the wife and the role that they have with their with their wife and and to make sure that they have uh because many of us spent, gave all of our money into the church and <laughs> Uh, some of you that are building organizations mm -hmm. right now, you're taking every bit of the available cash from your world and putting it into the ministry that you want to serve the Lord for. You mustn't forget that without you, there is nothing to go forward with until you put in place. And what you're saying is very true. And while you're tiptoeing around it, I'm not going to tiptoe around it. I think that every male pastor, every every husband who's worth his salt should love the church as Christ loved the church right. and make sure that the wife has her own checking account. Ex oh. Make sure she understands how to do. And <laughs> I didn't want to say that, Bishop, but that is, so, oh. that is very dear to my heart. I just really believe that it should be mut cons consensual. That's right. That a husband should allow a wife to have the peace and security that she needs, even though, you know, it's, you know, it's there. Yep. You might even know what's in there, yep. but it gives a sense of security because we know the number one need of women is security. Well, I understand the I understand the joint account. We have one. Uh, uh, my wife, but my wife has her own world, mm -hmm. and and I want to encourage that. I do encourage that, and so uh, not uh, not just so if they see a pair of shoes they want they can have a pair of shoes. How how simple that is. Right. What about buying a, a, a what about buying an investment? Uh, or, or buying a, a vehicle that would carry out and protect the family. Right. Uh, so, so I think it's time to look and and want and, and under we trust everybody else. Let's trust our families. And Virginia, it's just been wonderful talking to you. And I know that you need uh, maybe about thirty minutes just to have a personal get together and chat and, mm -hmm. and, and and start an analysis and then you go away and then you come back with some ideas exactly. and some thoughts process. So. We're not we're not uh, vacuum cleaner salespeople. No. We are providers, and, and 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 although this is not my business, my business is you, and my business is taking care of you. And I want the Lord happy with me, and He would be happy with me if I would bring people to you that will help you to take care of those things that are most important, and that's your life insurance, your 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 retirement. What's going to happen to you? and realize that trusting God can be for a lifetime, not just for day to day and minute by minute. And again, I want to say thank you. Thank you. I pray that many of you will get in touch with Virginia and, uh, you know, let her show you what we found uh, being acquainted with them at the soft spoken, gentle way to go forth and take care of some very powerful things. We're in a good place right now. I believe the Lord has given us a climate that will help some of you come forward and be ready to do what you want to do should God tarry and we bring our life. Till next time on Take 10, God bless you. We are praying for you. Get a hold of us. Get a hold of Virginia Webster and you'll be blessed. Have a great day. Thank you again.